If you've been tuned in with me, you should know that I'm a Clippers fan. Sadly, I hate being these. Uh, I hate cheering for them. Luckily, Westbrook might go to the um to the Nuggets. So I'll be very happy to cheer for the next year. Anyways, yeah, Paul George just recently, uh, yeah, he just what got traded to to um Philly. Like that's gonna do anything, but. <laughs> but yeah, I, I don't know. I got mixed feelings about it. I'll get into it in the video. But Paul George keeps it real on how the Clippers negotiation deteriorated. Before we get started, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Help me get to two. Wait, no, three hundred. We're six away. Round of applause. You know what I'm saying? Round of applause. You so pat on the back. You know what I'm saying? Let's get this bit to a cool five likes. We've been doing wonderfully. Y'all saying wonderfully elegant take. That's her on the likes. Let's keep it up. Let's get into it. All right, P. I understand you from. I'm about LA to talk shit. I'm not gonna lie. I'm about to talk shit. With three other players <laughs> from LA: James Harden, Kawhi Leonard, and Russell Westbrook. And we know this had to be a hard decision leaving your boys and like everything. But we know it's a business out here. So at the end of the day, you have to do this for your family. So I want to know. What was the negotiations you know, like with bro. the Clippers Let's be honest. to before and you know, <laughs> through the discussion to let you know that hey, I'm leaving y'all and I'm going to Philly. Yeah, just to put it out there, like I never wanted to leave LA. Right, initially I was not trying to leave LA. LA is home. This is where okay. I want. I gotta do this real quick. All right, so right, Paul George. Um, yeah, he's a great player. Right. So he, th this is what pisses me off about this dude. He thinks he's better than he is. He low key remind me of Tracy McGrady, bro. Like Tracy McGrady fucked his career up. He should have just stayed on Raptors. He thought he was better than he was. Could never get out of the first round. Yeah, it was busted. You see what I'm saying? Busted lineups and shit. But you put yourself in that situation and you couldn't deliver. You see what I mean? So like him. Like, okay, cool. I would get if he was like a our biggest let me well y'all can't even see it. I would I would get if he was our biggest factor. You see what I mean? While Kawhi was out, but he wasn't. It was Harden. You see what I mean? Harden stepped up for like three or four of the games, of the crucial games. And he stepped up for two. And I, I watched all of these. He stepped up for two games and everything else he shot horribly. Hence why his nigga shot forty one percent for from from the field, like as the first option, right? And average less than Harden. Harden averaged twenty two. Like, come on, bro. He's not. He's not worth it. He thinks he's better than he is. You see what I mean? And I hope. I low key hope he gets exposed on this Philly shit. I'm being honest. He needs to be ego niggas like this, bro. But let's get back into it. To finish at, I wanted to work as hard as possible. He's ass, to win bro. one in LA. Not like, ass, the just goal. he's inconsistent. You can't trust him at all. And it's been like that since he was on OKC with with uh, Westbrook. You couldn't trust him at all. He'll drop 40, 41 game. Cool. Next game, he's shooting six for twenty five on a consistent basis, doing this inconsistent shit. Like, right, to, be ah. to be committed to LA. Um, as it played out though, like the first initial deal was, I thought, kind of disrespectful, mm -hmm. right? And Bruh. again, no. <laughs> I wonder what they offered no him. Hard feelings, no love lost, no like, it's a business, like you said. Um, so the first initial deal was like two years, sixty. So I'm like. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yes, that's worth it. You did, bro. You did nothing. We got out first round in six games. And you were the first option. You're nothing to blame. Like, you're everything to blame. Like, it's all on you while we're out. You were the first option. And Harden, and Harden took your spot. So they gave Harden an extension. He deserved it. You didn't deserve it, my nigga. Like, you didn't do shit. Two you did nothing. 60? Hey, that's crazy. Like what, bro? This is actually like that's delusional. Crazy. Like, actually. That's crazy. So, I'm like. And these like, niggas just here. Wow. Yeah, you're so right, man. They're just here to validate him, bro. They're not even really, like, saying nothing. They just be validating his opinions. And, like, no, bro. 
No. This nigga is a I'm delusional not dude. Like, <laughs> now we're getting into the negotiating. Like, no, nah, we're I, I'm not taking that deal. Um, you deserve so, that. Like, like you gave slow, that. Like, they saying this that like you know we be we we want you and Kawhi here long term. Like we want y'all to be here. All of this stuff, right? So then, you know, as we're continuing to negotiate, as the season goes on, and mind you, this was probably like, this was started before the season started. So this was kind of like, I could be wrong on, on actual timing, but this was maybe like October-ish um, when negotiation, negotiations first started, and it was 260. And as we kept going, it was like, you know, they would go up, you know, inches, inches, inches um, to where it was like 44, 45. Right. But this was like a year, a couple months in between before we got it to 40 something. And the thing that pisses me off, like he act like he got a championship or some shit. Like at this point in your career, like, let's be real. You're not even at the peak of your prime no more. You're on the decline. Obviously. Do I got to do I got to show the stats again? OK, I will. That's her. I'm saying that's how I get that's her. Look at this. Did I did I did I show did I forget to show y'all his percentage? You see what I'm saying? But uh what was I looking at? What was I looking at? What was I looking at? I kinda forgot. Click it. <laughs> I kinda forgot. I'm not gonna lie. So I'm still like, nah. I'm not doing that. Then I hear wind of like, you know, what they're gonna give Kawhi. So I'm like, just give me what Kawhi got. Which is like, still like, stupid. Both same, ways is very like, dumb. You know, we came here together. We want to finish this shit together. I'll take what Kawhi got. Like, no, no cool problem. I was cool with that. Like, wow. and we were still taking less. We were you taking less. I mean? Kawhi took less. Mm -hmm. I was like, if Y gonna take less, I'm not gonna say I want more than Y. Like, I'm a. I'm not gonna like. It's not about me being paid more than him. Like, I'm gonna take what he got. Y'all right, give him right, that. Right. Give me that. They didn't want to do that. So this was before the All Star break. So I'm like, you know what? I don't want like don't even let's not even have no more conversation. Like let me let's just play this year out because it was starting to get into like my like my mood. Now I'm I'm you know what I mean like I didn't want I didn't want to have that energy carry over into the team on the court. So because I could see it starting to bleed a little bit into the team where I was just like disconnected. I didn't want to fuck with nobody. Like I was kind of just you know kind of to myself a little bit. So I was like man let's just. Let this shit play out. Let me get this nigga through. mad over cheese, bro. I could never. Like, do you hear this shit? He's saying he basically just said he's isolating himself over a bag, over a championship, and you were a contending team. It, like, we dodged a bullet. And I look if you now nah, I don't think I I posted it, but I I, I uploaded or uh, recorded a video saying this exact thing. He sounds satisfied with his career. Like, get away from players like this. This is what you don't want when you're building a championship roster at all. End of this year, and we'll discuss this again. We'll pick up. Nigga already talking about retiring his jersey. Like, what? You never see, you know what I'm saying, Russell Westbrook ever doing shit like that. Ever. Like, bruh. Conversations again. So, he, he, he. Do that. Nah, I'm done talking right? shit. I, I got a chance. I got a chance. <laughs> Season in. I finished healthy, 74 years or 74 games played yep, and, um, and had one of my most efficient seasons. So now we go into negotiations. Now they now they bring it to three years. Where we at? 150. So basically around what they what gave Kawhi. What a loser, man. Oh, so man. A part of me was <laughs> still like, Oh, shit. All right. That's cool. It, it sucks that it had to get to this point, like, that they couldn't, we couldn't get this figured out a lot sooner. I could, way early, right? Oh, this shit. Now we at the end of the year, three years, 150. So <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm like, all right. Like, now we're in. Bro, I'm, I'm not going to lie, bro. This shit is really getting me mad. Like, do you, this is my team. This was one of the two leaders, brother. And he's talking like this, bro. This is like, oh my, bro, my heart hurts. Like, my heart is hurting right now, bro. PG, bro. You a hybrid of Allen Iverson, Gilbert Arenas, Tracy McGrady, and you. You're in that category, bro. And I could even put Shaq in here. 
you're in that category. But you are levels behind Shaq. Like, I don't make it seem like I put Shaq close to you. I don't want that confusion ever. Y'all saying. Ballpark. You know what I mean? Now, Crazy, now we can have a conversation dog. here. And again, it still wasn't about the money. Because when I went back to have the negotiation at the end of the year, I presented the 3 150 no trade. Because in the <sighs> meeting, they're like, you know, we want you here long term. We oh, wanna, uh, you know, I when you're that, retired, we want you to be a Clippers here. for a lifetime. Like all of this stuff. We want you to be here. We want you to be a Clippers God. your whole career. It's so hurts. I'm like, cool. Cool. It's really hurts. Creating content shouldn't be this complex. It's so bad. And it hurts with so Riverside, bad, man. It's not. Rivers. Give me the three years, 150, no trade then. Like, no trade clause. Then, then I'm not, like, I'm taking less, but at least I know I'm here. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm I'm committed to y'all. Like, they didn't want to do the no trade. Do that? Wow. So then now, See what I'm, I'm like, all right. They don't even well, they say don't... anything. They don't have opinions. They just mirror what he's saying. Like, this isn't a podcast. It's just him and getting mirrored validation, bro. Like, it's not a, like, bro. It makes sense on, for me man. to do four years, 212. Right? Yeah. Like, at least yeah. pay me my money. If y'all gonna trade me, then y'all gonna trade me. But at least, like, now I'm not in a situation where I could have got more had I just gone to free agency, then take this deal, and then y'all could just ship me wherever I want, and then right. now I'm on this deal that I didn't want. Right. So they didn't want to do that. So then I was like, now like now I'm, 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 I'm open to entertaining what's, what's out there. And then, I mean, you know, through the negotiations, they didn't, they wasn't budging. They weren't going to budge. I wasn't going to budge. I thought I played, I, I played well enough you for them not. to, you know, be like, you At know what, all. he's a part of our future. Like, you I did thought I not, did that. Bro. I thought I earned that. You, you know. did not. Shooting 41% and you think you about to get a max, bro, come on. As a first, and you that's your time to shine. That's your time to prove you a max deal player. And you folded, my brother. Like, you folded hard. And you talking about a max. Like, are you serious? Bro, this is Granted, crazy, we didn't win while I was there. Bro. I don't know but if that's a max. I don't know how contracts work, but making 212, you crying over making 212? A lot to do with that, crazy, you know. Crazy. We could remain healthy as a unit. It's that's why um, I say it's levels to the but I thought to I did basketball to shit. Earn to that. He that. not he not there yet. They, I mean, they ever do he it. will never so be just there. A stalemate. We came ever to, to a stale. And it's cool though. It's cool. Like, you know what right, that ship has sailed. Like, I hope Westbrook go to the like, Nuggets. I, I fucking like, hate coverage, bro. I swear I hate. I love Steve. I love Lawrence. But at that point, it didn't even feel right to come back with that type of energy. And, and be comfortable playing back in LA. Well, the Chiefs, they keep. So I mean, you know, it's it's, dead, it's 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 taking his word. You know what I mean? In that situation is taking his word. Like, you no, know, we I don't want to trade you. That's not the reason I want to resign you. Which I I get, you know, um, and I understand. And I and I, and I and I I don't know. Steve is is a good dude. Like, you right. know, I love Steve as an owner. One of the best owners that I played for. Um, but you know, it's a business. Like, you, know, I, you can't take. You can't. I I won't take nobody's word if they can't put it in writing. Right. Yeah. Yep. Can't take nobody's word if it ain't in writing. I like that. Is it difficult <laughs> for players like yourself? Because as you mentioned all that, I'm curious. It is a business, mm -hmm. but you're also treading that line where it can kind of feel like personal. How do you kind of navigate those conversations and remove that emotion? Kind of out of it like mm -hmm. not taking it personally and understanding that it's business because i would guess that that can be hard at times you know what i mean yeah. on both sides yeah yeah no i mean it, it the that's that's why i had to stop the negotiations during the season because it it was personal like that's how y'all view me you know what i mean which is fine like in all of this that's why it's no love lost no hard feelings like if that's how y'all all right me, all right fuck it this is this season bro Last season proved a lot. This season is gonna prove you're in more. Let's see. Let's see. He talking all this shit, talking like he he he's worth that much money. Show it now. Now you gotta show it. You see what I'm saying? You get paid it. Now you gotta show it. Fine. That's well, cool. Let's see. I now I gotta that. go somewhere else. That's it's, we'll it's nothing wrong with that. Like like you said, it's, they say it's business. You say it's, it's business. business yeah, too. it's business. I gotta do what's best for me and my family. You got if to. that's how y'all view me and that's where my value is, then. I no no hard feeling, like I, I'm gonna go where 
I'm appreciative of that. At the end of the day, who life is it? <laughs> it it's business. Like, you know, I, I wasn't, I, I was I was torn a little bit because of the, the, I don't know, just the history we had this past five right. years. Shit, I was playing through like I'm not injuries. Gonna lie, and those stuff Air like Force is clean and shit. Though. I'm not gonna lie. I, I, I give you all. Y'all say, I, what's, what's my slogan? You see, you see, you see greatness, admire it, Dexter. Y'all say, they, they, they clean. I'm not gonna lie, they clean. They you know, clean. I was, you know, I was, I was, everything I had. We had some good ups. We had some downs. Um, but I thought again, I, I thought I deserved more than, especially for the first initial, like, yeah contract it, yeah. like the first and initial conversation 74. it's hard to not take that personal personal like bro. that's that's i understand Ow. negotiations too you know it's a business you, you see what i mean start down here and we'll Bruh. end up here but that seems that's they have I mean. no opinions of their own like at all that's why i can't watch this they have no opinion like they, there's no they hit they will never not agree with this thing like ever <laughs> you see low pretty low point. it's like wow yeah man that's starting point to just Both throw that on the ways. table and right. show your cards like that right. it's like okay right. so so that 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 was that was like that that part you can't never like overlook it's like that's that's really how you feel what else is out there you can't just talk to but them it was, like it was tough bro people. it was tough conversations or should <laughs> talk to them like it was tough conversations that's why it was so stressful like this this whole week week and a half was a very stressful week and a half i wish we could have helped him negotiate when he was here i would have just <laughs> been like see this is what you need to we do we should have brought our own First contract all, put us in ball <laughs> and then after that i'm gonna tell you you know it, it was a great <laughs> selling though like i went and saw the intuit dome like miss with that one buddy they Dang. walked me through everything how it's gonna look and into it is damn near done so it was cool to see it kind of firsthand everything the, the facility the building is crazy Right. I went from Laker to Clipper. <laughs> we in Philly? Uh, that's what I said. I'm Philly. Good? I'm just, I mean. Hey. But I love, I, I'm embracing the new change. I love the new change. This episode is sponsored by Coinbase. All Coinbase. right. Yep. Um, that, there you have it. Paul George. But even though I really don't like him at all, I do have to show him respect. So he's like 33rd for me all time. Comment down below. Give me any reason to move him down. I love to see him like top 50. You know what I'm saying? Like 49th or 55th, 75th, 84th. You see what I'm saying? You, you, you catching my drift? Yes, I'm a prime hater of him now. He's a op. But I don't got nothing else to say. That's it.